the portrait dog that's sending off to the big screen this August, and a new film that just seems really promising to say the least. There is not going much information about the upcoming The Portal movie, so I'll look down on into theaters on August 20th. Only knew that it was now going to be taking place in the town of Adventure City. There's going to be some celebrity voice actors. The film is going to come out on August 20th. There's a week footage of the 2021 Kids' Choice Awards, and that was all really it. This summer, the worldwide phenomenon will be unleashed on the big screen. A dog? You're in shock, so I'm not gonna take that personally. Time for a little more power. Paw Patrol at work. There's even a puff tree dispenser. What? It's a beautiful thing. Paw Patrol. That's it? That's the Looks last like episode? That was just a bunch of cheap Wait for it. What a rip. Once on now, there hasn't been any more actual information or trailers about the new film coming out. Until now. Kinda. You see, there has been some recent information spreading around the character identities of which celebrities are going to be voicing which characters. All I know is that there's a bunch of celebs including Tyler Perry, Jenny Kimmel, Jack Shepard, and even Kim Kardashian joining onto the new project. However, their new identification and character names has been unveiled. Yeah, you're kidding, very right, because Colonel Nick Williams, Ben Astor, Nick Rose Images, Portal Wife, Adrian's Lord voice actors with Queen Nursey Norton, Tyler Perry, and Kim Kardashian, is coming to local theaters near you on August 20th. Then on a roll for years, and now they're coming to Hollywood. The well Portal cartoon dogs, who will never get canceled no matter how hard you try, are making their big spread debut this August. And this time around, James Marshall rolls skyrocketing in Zuna while he joined us some serious Hollywood stardom tower. A sorority voices from swamp guest stars, which includes Marcy Norton, Tyra Curry, Kay Kardashian, Jenny Kendall, who wants to be known in Ringo, Ryan the Clark, Akira Shahidi, and Dak Shepard, and wants to cultural friend with Rock Portal voices Hundinger, who only displayed to make fantastic cameos. The one night cultural dogs in this featured film annotation, which was directed by Count Warner and the Nigel 2. As well as a brand like Count Warren, his longtime filmmaking any important in Darwin, and loves to evolve, while only voiced by the original TV series voice actor, with the exception of Chase, who now only voiced in the film like Naked Night Young Sean reading at the store in Orange Age. The film centers on the adventures of the legendary Fox, as he now fight and fight and join forces to save the citizens of the nearby Avengers City when their stupid, terrible mayor hunter was the wrong portal. I hope we will finally get arrested at the service all cultural fans have asked for, as well as making new friends, allies, and a few cat menaces along the way. Dear does the people noticing how we a fantastic sneak peek at the cultural crew and our new friends and characters and teenagers with those worthy guest stars who are on the big screen all ready for action, waiters, sir! There goes down the list of all the celebrity guest stars of Hollywood who will be appearing in the new portal movie. And the first name on the agenda may come as surprising to you. Cameron Dragon will be voicing the words to Portal, a new current to the Fox universe. Tyler Perry, creator of Nick Ryan's Young Run Girl series, plays Gus the truck driver, who ends up being rescued and forced to pay speed ticket by Chase Duran Shepard, who is now voicing Ian Artage of Nick at Night's Young Sheldon. Fiora Shahidi voices Kendra Wilson, a green engineer behind the signs of Sun the Puck's new guides and gear. Which, by a word, it's just lying to us, it's not going to be new at all. It's because we're just going to be reassigned more HD versions of the ones we've seen before in the series. And we see Black Star and Russell Norton plays the voice of Rody, a new savage Josh from the Norton friend of the team. Behind her stands Ronan and Glitch, voiced by Jack Shepard and Ronald Park. Now, unfortunately, there is one some sort of error with the film's promotion. Edward that it has guest the voice of Ron Poe, voice of Hunter and his crew of Pocketing Kittens, which I believe is just basically not true. Why are you lying to us? Do any of you guys who have noticed about this, Pearl has been with the Portal team since day one back on August 2013. I feel like the creating a guest star just makes no sense. Like, how do you have a regular voice actor and then create her as a guest star in a featuring film annotation? Like, that's impossible. Why do you have to do Night Boy 30 like this? And finally, to say the best for last, Jenny Kendall, the raising hearts of the way great Regis villains, who wants to be a millionaire 
on ABC, plays the role of Virgin City's news anchor, Narnie Nutbreaker. Have you ever wondered what Harry Crocs are Jenny Kellen to do an epic Sycamore and Wogan Mr. Gunner impression? Well, here you go! The Control Squad is ready for action! Ready to roll Kristen, Chet Ann Unitage, Nozzle Kim for Marshall, Raul Keen Henry, Sky Roy Garfram, Rocky Kellen and Zuna Shiri Sinens. The film's producer and creative team of Kellen Gordon and Del Burn are the two men behind working on the entire project, with Franco directing and both of them co writing on the script screenplay as a duo. The story of the film will be unleashed to the world on May 12th. But again, they come the end of line to its own families and entire release on June 3rd. There's also the brand new talk punk songs to be featured in the film soundtrack, including Wesley Cross, the U.S. is Troy, and the song's going to be played in the film's end credits, Good News by Anne Levine, which was the first song announced. Also in the film's trailer, there is a brief playing of the theme song, I Need Help, by Fits of the Tantrums. There are also additional promotions for the film's hype as well, including a set of toys like a series product, Provided as useful by the brand owner Skinmaster, a brand new video game adaptation of the movie called The Bronx for Movie The Video Game Adventure City Calls, published by Unright Game. Because let's be real, no Hollywood movie is a good success without getting a video game simulator, right? Of course it is. However, raising deers and on stream services at the same time still makes no sense to me. Don't get me wrong, I still think it's an amazing strategy for those who are still stuck at home during a worldwide pandemic, but I feel like it should just be winded back to just being released in theaters now. I mean, a majority of people have been vaccinated, right? Well, unfortunately, that's where you'll be wrong. Because unfortunately, the first is still happening, people are still getting sick. Unfortunately, that was all chocolate they just had to green up. Although, however, the UK Premier West of Squares still went ahead. Y'all, you guys were true fans of our film, you guys are great. I mean, seriously, when this film talks in the US on Friday, I'm not sure how the Nick Jr. and Fire Club Studios team are gonna actually talk that in history. I mean, seriously, a Blue's Quiz of Day short film are also in the works, so no one's playing all the Nick Jr. properties past and present into the dear Hollywood market, and no one's even mentioning it as of now. Well, for the launch of film as of now, day, but who knows? Maybe this may be a new era of Chris Quantitane history. Overall, I'm really looking forward to so excited to see how this Portugal squad do in Hollywood. I mean, seriously, I got a worldwide, never ending Nick Jr. property with the biggest star star voices in the world that's going to entertain a new generation of both new and well playing fans. Get hyped for its release this Friday night. Now, if you excuse me, Chase Guy and I will be agreeing to talk to Boogie until the phone works on deals and on stream services. Well, anyways, that's all for this video. Subscribe for another content like this. Give it a thumbs up and like, comment, below and tell us what you think. Thanks so much for watching this video, and we'll see you at the phone's opening night. See you in the next video on this channel, and goodbye for now.